Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In the previous video, we were actually able to install the Selenium ID onto our machines. Now let's quickly go through and see, you know, have a quick walkthrough for the Selenium ID. As you all know, Selenium ID is a plugin that works only with Firefox and it provides the record and play feature for our uh, test cases. So this is how your Selenium ID looks like. On the top is known as the file menu or the menu bar which has the option for file, edit, action, options and help. Then you have the base URL. Base URL stands for the starting point or the, or the starting uh, you know, URL from where you want the execution or the test execution for your test kit to start. After this we have how do we actually you know want our execution to process the faster, slow or in, or in medium. It's a seek part that we can arrange accordingly. Then we have uh, two options for play. The first option helps us to play the entire test suit and the second one allows us to play a particular test that has been selected. Then is the play or pause button. Then the next button allows us to skip a particular case and this is the option which allows us to record. By clicking this button we can enable the recording for our test cases. This is a test case uh, uh, box or the holder for all the test cases. This is a particular test case written. It's, have, it's having a three type of architecture. First is the command, the target and then the value. Say I want to open a URL, then open is a command and target is the URL uh, which I want to open. And in a similar way, say I want to, uh, in the search box, I want to type trollspoint.com. Then, you know, command is, you know, type, target is the search box and the value is whatever value we want to type. So this is, uh, this is the entire test case that we are having it. And then this is the bottom pane of the test case of the Selenium ID. This is having four main features, the log, the reference, the UI element and the rollup. Logs are, you know, useful when we want to know about the uh, test execution process. The reference helps us to know the, about the command that we are using. The UI element is the, is the one in which we get to know about which element is being, you know, performed an action on. Now let's quickly go to our systems and see how Selenium ID works. So guys, uh, welcome back again. Now in this video, we have already seen about the Selenium ID, you know, like how a Selenium ID looks like. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly have a quick work around and show you, you know, what all we can do with Selenium ID, like uh, what are the, what is the menu bar, where are the menu bars located? And then, you know, what are the options available in menu bars? What is the test case? How do we record a test case? How we can call a test case? How we can use a test case? So all these things would be covered up in this session. So now, uh, let's get started by opening up our Selenium ID onto our Firefox machines. As I already told you, how do you add your Selenium ID over here? You click on this one and this is the Selenium ID that is showing over here, right? So if you look at this properly, this shows a screen like this, which has five options over here. One is the file, edit, actions, options, help. Also, you can refer for the version of ID over here, like the version being used here is 2.9.1. These options, like say, in case I want to start a new test case, I can click on a new test case. To open up a test case, I can click on open test case. To save a test case, I can simply save a test case by clicking on the save test case um, option available here. Also, all these options can also be used by having the shortcuts. Like say, if I want to start a new test case, I press Control N and I would be able to have a new test case opened up onto my machine. So now, for all of these shortcuts are also available. Say in case I have saved a test case, I save a test case as, uh, I go to the desktop folder in the desktop in Selenium. I create a new folder for Selenium IDE test cases. Now, after doing this, I saved my test case. So the test case has been saved as Selenium ID walkthrough, right? Now, this is the option which is known as base URL. First of all, what is base URL? The URL from which we are actually starting the execution of our test case is known as the base URL, right? After this, it shows that how fast or at what pace you want your execution to flow, right? 
so it can be either fast or slow and it, it is the seek bar in which you can choose the speed or the rate at which you want to run then this, say there are 100 test cases or 50 test cases and if you want to run all of them you click on this option that is play entire test suit and if you want to run only a particular test case like in this one we are having the untitled test case right you can simply do it by clicking on this play current test case this is the option or this is the button in which we can play or resume a test case and if you want to skip a particular step then you can click on this particular option or this particular button so you can call this particular this particular menu bar or this particular item as your shortcut menu where you know you, you have all the options which you can use very easily in, in a very fast and appropriate manner now what is this is if in case I want to schedule my test case I can you know schedule it at what you know at what time of the day or I want to run my test cases before that let's see the most important functionality of the Selenium ID as I already told you that in Selenium ID we can record and play a test case say I want to record a particular test case I go to this button and I click on record test case by clicking this one I would be actually able to record a test case onto my system and onto my machine so after clicking this what I do is I go to the site that is producepoint.com and start on recording the test case see what happened was like I was at the base location the base URL and I was located at the faq.htm page right now on clicking the link or clicking on the image I am directed to the home page of this point now what I do is on here let's say I want to go to this particular Google Maps tutorials so this is the Google Maps tutorial that has opened up for me herein I want to read this particular uh, tute or this particular article and after this I move on to the next page so now if you can see properly that all of these things like say I want to validate some content or I want to validate some functionality or I want to validate that are these pages available you know in the proper order or not I can simply do it so all of these cases are have been run over here and I can see them in my table format right now what I do is I'll run this test case for you if you look at the test case that has been run it has gone to the FAQ page from the FAQ page it clicks on the home page of this point and then from the one it goes to the Google Maps tutorial now in this one it has gone down to the Google Maps getting started on HTM page then Google Maps types so now the easy part is being that there is no programming needed there is no technology needed you just simply record a test case and can play a particular test case without much knowledge or understanding of your you know your technical or your tools or you know things like that so this is basically easier to use but it's having or it's offering very limited you know uh, limited functionality or limited uh, you know your limited power for automation testing so coming back to the file one if in case I want to save this particular test suit I name this as selenium id1 so now what is this is this is a particular suit that has been saved and I am you know able to find this test case available in this suit so what I do is I first save the save the test suit how do I do it save test suit now this is the suit that is selenium id 1.html and this is having this particular test case now after this I can even export my test cases so you need not to worry about the exporting we would be having it covered in the upcoming sessions when we discuss them later on now after this let's get started with other properties or you know other uh, options available in this menu bar edit I want to insert a new comment or I want to insert a new comment right 
Now here is a comment. Now what is a comment like say I want to insert that you know like this would be able this particular case is trying to click the so what I'm writing is this this uh, case is trying to click the Google Maps image to open up Google Maps to tutorials tutorial right So this is the power that has been offered by Selenium, right? You know, like you can even add your comments to a particular test case. Now we need these comments so that you know we can actually you know uh, get to the knowledge that you know what all uh, we are doing in a particular case and for similar stuffs. Say you want to insert a new command over here, then you can go to insert a new command. Now, what are commands and actually why are we, you know, why do we even need them, right? So any action that you are performing, like see here, we are trying to open a particular page. We are clicking and waiting. We are uh, having a verify option. We are performing, say, sending the keys or we are typing something in the box. So all of these things are actually done by using commands. Now let's see what all commands are actually there in provided by the Selenium ID. So guys, these all commands we can actually use in our test case whenever we are making a test case for Selenium ID. Now, let's get started with the most first one that was the basics one that is the open command. Now, what is this is here if you want to open a particular URL on a page then you go to the open command open a window if you want to open a separate window you go to open window option you want that you know after going to the open window and you want to wait till the window has opened up you go to open window and wait if you remember initially when we started we were having this particular command as click and wait now what I'll do is I'll write this as click and wait now if you want to understand what this command will do for you, you can simply go down to the reference option available in the Selenium ID. This will actually give you the power to understand. Now what is this is? This is a click and wait command and here you pass the locator. Now what is the locator? Like any HTML element that we are having on a page is actually found using the locator. A locator can be you know like a very basic or very simple uh, HTML tag, uh, a particular link text. You need not to worry about locators because it forms a topic uh, for the next uh, sessions wherein you know we would be having uh, the understanding of locators, we would be finding all locators one by one and in the brief introduction in Firebug and the Fi and, uh, Firepath had shown you that you know how we can actually identify a locator. So what you are doing is I am passing that click and wait needs a locator and what it does it it clicks on a link a button a checkbox and a radio button. If the click action causes a new page to load like a link then we need to call for wait for page to load. So you know these are the small references that we actually use whenever we are referencing the Selenium ID right. Now I come down over here and I want to check that say okay uh, how can I you know type something or I can do like that onto my particular test case in Selenium. So all of these functions are available over here say I like I am you know uh, passing or whatever you know you are passing or whatever functionality you are using is available in commands and for all the commands you can easily you know navigate down to the reference and actually find what all values you need now this is the send keys now what do you mean by send key whenever we are typing something into a box into a input box into a user field we then use the send keys now it accepts two parameters one is the locator which is the target and another is the value why do you need a locator and a value? A locator tells which element you want to send your keys to 
and value tells that what is the value of the of this particular type of element so like now by reading this you can actually understand you know like what this function is uh, having or what this functionality is being provided now let's get to the next option which is the logs so all the test cases that have been run over here are actually you know we are having the logs of four categories debug info warn error any information like you know like a test case has opened up it is executing it is starting comes under the info log errors come as red and are in the error part then warning and we can also have debug we are not using any debug as of now so like you know there is no action performed for them otherwise you can even you can get a brief idea of understanding of what all these are available for you now if i want to find you know the values of the locator for this element i can actually be able to do it using the find command now what i do is say i want to click the tools option available on this page and i don't know which locator it would be having so i click on select and i go to the tools option so it has told me that we have it can be referenced using a link that is tools and if i click on find then it should be in yellow pointing to which element is this particular target referencing to so if you are unaware about a particular element on the page or about a particular you know your particular ui element which you are not able to find you can go to the select command you can easily select any particular uh, you know element like here i i have you know selected the link and on this basis you can continue your execution so i hope you guys you guys have got a good understanding of the working of selenium id now after this you can practice a bit about recording and playing uh, and in the in the upcoming sessions you would be covering about how can we actually you know create a new test case and how, and you know how we can export a test case or can debug a test case in the upcoming sessions so thank you guys for tuning in